I got tons of soul on my true collective ball. Yeah. Famous, so so famous, number one desirable. I do what I want when I want and how I want it. Leave you with the one in the yeah, air. That's how I roll. I got change to throw. I don't care about no gold. Better, so much better, flipping the credit ball. Always on the show, so they know that I still got it. Hi, right, what's up, you guys? It's Luca. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I was like, hmm, what could I film? And then I thought, well, I love watching Q&As. I think it's such a great way to get to know the person that you're watching. And my ultimate goal for this channel is just for you to feel like you really know me. You know the girl that you're watching. And I always want to be as real and authentic as I can with you guys. So I asked you on Instagram to ask me real questions, whatever that means to you you if you guys are new to my channel please subscribe if you want to and um, follow me on Instagram if you want to ever be a part of Q&A's also I'm filming in my bathroom just because I kind of have gotten tired of filming everywhere else in my room and I thought might as well switch it up a little bit you know all right someone said how do you deal with the feeling of not doing enough with your life it's so easy to feel that societal pressure that you're never doing enough with your life you're not expanding yourself to the max i know that this truly comes from worrying too much about what other people are doing and the only way that you would feel inadequate about your life is because you're comparing it to someone else because i've been there i just maybe like a month ago maybe even less than that i was just in my room and i felt just so lost like it wasn't like i didn't feel like i wasn't doing enough it was just that i really didn't know like where my life was gonna go like i know my, i want to go to college but i'm not really sure on like what i want to major in that really tells me that i was not living in the moment and it's not our job to figure out what we're gonna do in a year all you should be worrying about is living fully in this present moment and everything else will unfold perfectly because if you get anxiety about the future it just should be showing you that you are not living in the present can you talk about your spiritual journey? How did you start and how did you get to where you are now? I actually filmed a video on like my spiritual journey, but I got a little insecure about posting it just because it was very, very personal. I have really found like my spirituality through sources like books and YouTube channels and meditation. My favorite part of the day is meditating in the morning. And I cannot tell you like how much love I feel in my heart. Like when I meditate, it's just so peaceful for me. It has taken me a lot of practice with meditation to get to that point, but I really couldn't encourage you guys enough to start meditating because I feel like that is a large part of being spiritual It's just getting down and accepting your thoughts and being able to observe them instead of letting your mind control you Because your mind is a tool and it shouldn't be something that controls you Someone said do youtubers act different on camera than in reality? Okay, it really depends on the youtubers I've had some instances where I've met YouTubers where I really love like and watch their videos and they're a little bit different in real life. When you're filming, you are turned on. I'm putting my 100% energy into filming. Just being myself and giving as much energy as I can into filming. But when I'm just chilling with my friends, of course I'm not going to be that turned on like all the time. Like sometimes I just want to chill and I'm not like extremely outgoing and energized. Sometimes I didn't get a great night of sleep and I'm not feeling super whoa and like so it's important to keep in mind that everyone's human you know just because we make videos online doesn't mean that we don't have our moments I think I answered that good why is there hair on my matcha Ugh. I got a lot of questions about like boyfriends and dating and like I made this video a while ago that was like the power of being intentionally single and the purpose of that video wasn't saying like I'm going to be single forever it was just trying to make light of being single and I feel like oh wow this is something I'm so passionate about but like society puts so much pressure on women to get married have babies there's no pressure on men at all you know they don't have eggs that they need to freeze they can basically chill until they're ready to start a family but girls we have like a ticking time limit whether we realize it or not it's true some people just want to focus on their business or you know growing that side of their lives and they're not really focused on finding a husband to marry and i think it's so important that we should respect all decisions that any woman decides to do with her life yeah i don't know it was just interesting because i feel like if i were a guy i 
I definitely wouldn't get that many questions about like if I had a boyfriend. I mean, if I had a girlfriend, whatever. Like, so it's just interesting. Like, people are always just so nosy about that. But I'm, I'm wondering if it is as much that way towards guys as it, as it is towards girls. I don't know. I think girls are kind of pressured a little bit more to like be dating and find love, but that's just me. Goes on rant, that has nothing to do with the question. What traits do you look for in a guy? Okay, so funny fact, I have actually gone out with guys who are like the epitome of like my type or like a type that I made up in my head. Like they check off all the boxes that I want physically and more like what like their hobbies are. Just, I'm gonna let your imagination go wherever you want. Like honestly, if they don't put an effort like that is, to me that is such like a major turn off for me. I don't think that the girl should be chasing the guy. I think that, you know, it's in men's instinct to be hunters and go after what they want if a guy wants you he should come and get you because you were the prize okay like we spent all this time looking all nice not for them but still if you want me you're gonna have to work showing effort being kind and having values is really big like and as much as like I can get down to like appearances matter like of course you want to be attracted to the person but there's so many other things that matter so much more but I really think like having good values is the number one thing someone said why did you leave high school they said the name of my high school hopefully it's because they go there or I don't know if my school that I went to is leaked but hopefully not because I'm not trying to get kidnapped lol oh, love when that happens but I love left my school because dual enrollment is such a good opportunity. I'm literally getting college classes for free despite like the whole senior year like missing out on your senior year well first of all at this point everyone's missing out on their senior year because i don't think prom is gonna happen which i still would have gone to it depends on like what the senior what the whole magicalness of the senior year is like for me it would just be the same thing as junior year yeah it's fun i guess to get up at seven in the clock every day not really for me um i get to sleep in and have my own schedule and all of that so i really think i chose the right path by doing dual enrollment. I wouldn't say I left the school. I just would say that I chose to be smart with like my money and my time. Has being in isolation taught you anything new about yourself? Yes, I think it's taught me that I can last a lot longer without socialization. And I feel like it taught me that I felt a lot of pressure to go out and socialize before all of this happened. And I realized that I'm actually just happy filming in my room and being with my dog all day. And it has made me a lot happier than I would have thought. Like take all of my energy and just direct it towards making videos has made me very happy and having time to do yoga in the morning and then do a workout has been very nice for me honestly and I am an extrovert but I also don't feel like I've hated my time alone do you have any tips for a period yes I do <clears throat> be respectful of your body and know that you're just give your body time to go through this phase that us women were I think honestly it's a blessing that we have periods because it's a sign of life it's a sign we're able to bring life and to earth here I am sounding all woo-woo again but it really is a sign of being like a woman and truly our emotions being heightened it really brings out and our intuitive capabilities if you didn't know we're so much more sensitive to that voice inside of you you're very connected to that voice during that time also like if you want chocolate eat chocolate lots of dark chocolate give yourself fuel because <laughs> you're losing blood sis <laughs> don't feed into those negative thoughts and maybe have a boxing class. Do you prefer a lot of friends or a small circle of friends? Personally, I've always been a person, personally, I've always, per I've always been a fan of having closer friends. I crave intimate connections with people and I feel like that really isn't available a lot of times in groups of people. And you can really go a lot deeper with a person when you are just one-on-one -on -one with them. And I've just never had a large group of friends, but honestly, I have I really wish that I had like a sex in the city group of girlfriends that I'm just like have brunch with every day. Sadly, that is not the case. You know, if anyone wants to be part of like my sex in the city group when I live in New York and just have brunch every Sunday with me, I would love that. Someone said, how do you think others portray you, especially those at school? Family, not just YouTube. Okay, so my family, how um, might they portray me? I think my family pretty much portrays me as an angel because I have an amazing family. It's so so true i'm very blessed but people in school honestly i'm so checked out of high school right now 
I have no clue how people portray me. I got like most likely to be famous at my high school for like notables. I didn't even know that was going on. I really thought they forgot about me. I'm not gonna lie. Like I barely talked to anyone from high school, which is kind of sad. I have a couple friends that I keep up with here and there, but I have a lot of friends that are in college that I talk to. You know, people can assume whatever they want about me, but I know who I am. I'm cool with her, so. Someone said, have you ever struggled with losing your period being an active teen? Yes, I have. Last summer, I lost my period for like a long time. And I think it was because I was working out very hard since I had more time. I went to the gym almost every day and I went hard at the gym. I went beast mode. And also when I was a gymnast, I think I probably lost my period every once in a while. It was like very inconsistent. Someone said, after your psychotic break, how did you build yourself back up mentally it was very hard someone also asked me like what was the hardest period of your life so i'll kind of do two in one that was definitely one of the hardest periods of my life because i didn't go to school for three months which basically what everyone's struggling with now i like already went through that like in december like november through december honestly it's shown me that i'm very strong and i can get through a lot of things and it's also shown me the little things don't matter when you die you die with nothing in your pockets you nothing on earth right now you're gonna die with like just think about that like all your striving to work for everything you all the designer clothes you want all of the societal positions like what your job position is how much money you get when you pass on like none of that matters like the only thing that matters is like how much you have developed in a soul soul way and hard moments like that they really do help you grow a lot so i'm thankful for my hard moments because i would be a pretty boring person without them and lot less strong without them. Time heals. Time and being surrounded with positive people who can help you with what you're going through. That is how I healed mentally from that situation. It was it was hard, but lots of journaling, lots of meditation, lots of forcing myself to get up and get active, even when I didn't feel like it. And then someone said like the hardest periods of your life. First one I can think of is when I moved from Colorado to Florida. It was an extremely lonely time for me. I had absolutely no friends in Florida. It made me very shy. I was so, so afraid to make friends because um, I'd never gone through like a big move or anything like that. And I also moved in the middle of the school year. So it was even more awkward to make friends because everyone already knew, the, knew each other. I missed everyone in Colorado a lot. I felt like I just had no one to talk to. And that's honestly, I think one of the worst feelings ever because we crave human connection and feeling accepted. And I just did not have that at all. Another hard moment was quitting gymnastics because it was my whole life up until I was like, yeah, I quit when I was 16. It was almost like a part of my identity crumbled away because being a gymnast was a huge part of my identity whenever someone asks like what's a fun fact about you or what do you do in your free time it was gymnastics and then once that fell away it was like well what do i have about me what is special about me i truly felt that nothing else was special about me after i quit gymnastics because i didn't have that talent anymore so it really made me go even deeper beyond who i was not my self-identity that i had those were the hardest moments of my life pretty big question so i hope you guys feel closer to me i'm sorry if i didn't answer your question there were a lot of them and some of them were just way too personal for me <laughs> even though i feel like i got pretty personal with those questions so yeah subscribe to my channel for more content twice a week every wednesday and sunday and i'll see you guys in my next video i love you so much stay strong during this time i know we will get through it as the whole entire world of us you guys are all throughout the world so i love you bye I got so much back, I think I'm never running out, yeah Bust me down a whip, bitch, I don't do this for no clout, hey I got so much back, I think